Hey guys, um, Sean back again with another cargo crate. Uh, so for the first time ever, I actually remember to check my email before we started recording and to see what next time's theme is, and, and they didn't send me a theme reveal email this time. Nor have they charged me for the April crate, which makes me think this is the last Firefly crate? But I don't have confirmation on that, unless it's in this box. So, I guess we'll find out. So again, um, we have our standard Firefly Crate box. And on the outside we have a sticker. This product has been brought to you in part by Bellerophon Estates. Build your own Mount Olympus. There's that sticker. Which we expect to have a copy of inside. So, let's open this. So first and foremost, the inside seems to be uh, the standard um, cargo crate inside. And right on top here, the box out of the way, we have a fabric, which I'm assuming is a t-shirt, but let's not all assume like crazy people. You guys get to see it first. And I'm going to lay it down, and it looks like it's a diagram of a gun. Is the Lassiter? Is this what it is? Cool. The camera person is nodding at me. So yeah, it's, a, it's kind of a diagram of the Lassiter. I actually really like this. Again, very soft material. I've not been a huge fan of the t-shirts other than the Jane shirt. Um, there was no Kaylee shirt. Yeah, so the Jane shirt, which I enjoyed. And one of uh, the Redditors out there that I post this on the Fireflies let me know that the symbol on the Jane shirt says death, so he can't wear it in Japan where he lives. They... I'm assuming gender, I shouldn't do that. But this is probably the next shirt that I enjoy. Sometimes I'll wear some of the other ones around the house because they are comfortable, they're made of a good fabric, but I don't really enjoy wearing them in public because they're, I don't, just the design's not great. But I can see myself wearing this. Camera person? Camera person agrees. Camera person's usually in charge of what I wear, so. Okay. Yo! Mini Master! Alright, this is good. This is a good return. Because we didn't have one last time. So let's see who we got. Uh, I forget who the possibilities are. I haven't looked in the signal yet. And that's usually where they tell you which two are the possibilities. I'm opening this incorrectly, but it's easier. We got someone with hair. Someone with hair, people. And I'm pretty sure this is Inara Sarah. Everyone's favorite companion. Or second favorite. Well, maybe third. So yeah, we have an Aracera. Um I'll say that it's it's pretty evidently her. Unless it's not her. Inara? Yeah? Camera person? Just nodding your head? Yeah, no, I'll definitely say this is an Aura based off of the others on the box. Maybe a little vague. But nobody else really wears fancy clothes like her. What else do we got? We have a Serenity metal keychain. It says it right on the box. Box opens interestingly. And yeah, it's a metal keychain. Do we have this keychain? Maybe? Unsure? It's very hefty. It's got, um, you guys are actually closer than I am right now, uh, very nice detail to it. I'm going to flip it over here. You see it's textured bottom. The door's not in detail, but yeah, it's got, especially for the scale, um, some very nice details. So, do not hate this. I have a Firefly keychain, I'm pretty sure. Yes, because I keep, never mind, I shouldn't talk about other people's houses. I keep somebody else's square keys on it. Uh, we have some flat material, the Bellerophon sticker that we mentioned earlier. And another envelope. It says flashcard set, interplanetary flashcard set too. So this is the sequel. All right, we have Bellerophon, Osiris. And that's it, two? Two flashcards. This is the sequel. They sent, I think, three or four of these before. Um, and they have some cool artwork. And on the backs, they have like interesting factoids um, about the planets. But while these are kind of interesting to look at once, 
I'm not a huge fan of these because they're hard to display, you know? Like, I can put them up like this, but then you can't read the facts without taking them down. And So, I'm not a huge fan of these. They're fine. Uh, I think we got rid of the last ones. No, we, I, we've kept everything so far. But I know we weren't, like, super overjoyed with the other ones. They're fine. And as, as I'm seeing how much is left in the box, I'm getting more and more disheartened. We have a Night Sweetie pin. So that's kind of cool. I've I've always liked the pins, the um, the uh, the theme pins. That makes sense because of uh, Saffron's goodnight kiss. So I like it. I'm not seeing a whole lot of Saffron in this box so far, right? Like Yosaf Bridge is the theme of the box. The Lassiter, Night Sweetie, Osiris, and Bellerophon. But I don't think she was on Osiris. Which one was I don't remember. I'll leave it at that. If I'm wrong, feel free to lambast me in the comments. And then, other than the signal, we have our QMX Mini Master, which we've gotten pretty used to. This one makes me have strange feelings. Because, I mean, Christina Hendricks, right? our official Firefly opening knife here. If any of you are curious, I have not sharpened and still need to do. I haven't looked at the camera in a while. I'm back. Okay, I think that's enough of that. It opened up pretty nicely. Alright, so again, um, it came placed on the... Uh, the base for us, so we don't have to struggle with that, which the first few did not come that way and were frustrating. Let's take her out of the bag. Oh, I didn't see that on the box because the box only shows the front. No, I just only looked at the front. So here we have Saffron, right? This is pretty clearly Saffron, as opposed to Yolanda or Bridget. Okay. Um, like, the getup makes me think Saffron. Saffron's the first one they might find, right? The first version of her they talk to is Saffron, mm -hmm. and it's the very, like... And then, this is kind of cool. She's hiding a gun. So, um... Yeah, I think it's great. I think I, I'm definitely going to add it to the rest of the crew, but here's my concern. If this is the last box, I, like, like, my crew doesn't have, like, half of the crew, but it does have this girl? So, yay, that girl's here. And the only other thing in the box is the signal, which each month, see, it, the signal seems to be a little bit differently designed. Um, let's see. Uh, I will try to make this quick. Firefly Cargo Crate. Yeah, it explains why they included her. Um, the days of people taking us seriously are certainly coming to a middle, so in this issue we offer you the chance to win a A-grade prize. We're also taking some time to remember Ron Glass, who tragically passed away this past November. And we have not had a book box. So, if there are more boxes, and there is going to be a book box, I hope that there's something to remember Ron Glass. Some, some, like, you know, at least something written. Um, here are some pictures of you. People that aren't me. Because I never give them any photos. Man, if I turned this around and they had, like, a still from, like, one of my videos, I'd be like, well, that's embarrassing. Uh, remembering Long Glass. There's a, there's a little memorial in here. Um, it seems to be mostly quotes from, like, tweets and quotes, Instagram stuff. And then um, some brown coats, some writers, producer Jane Epson, uh, Epson, Epson is in here, uh, Beth Nelson from QMX, other people who are like somehow involved. Uh, show us your saffron contest. Using your initials, find out what your saffron box backstory is. Act out or draw the backstory as you choose. Upload your picture to loop.cr at saffron contest for a chance to win. And then it has one of those like Facebook posts where it's like, your initials. So, like, mine is S, Black Market Beagle Dealer, 
uh, B is my last initial, uh, with a terrible secret. So then I would, I guess, make up a second story. And you guys want to pause and find your initials. I'm sure somebody out there has posted a picture of this rather than a video. <laughs> and there's a Firefly trivia quiz. Nice. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this trivia quiz. But I'm gonna wait to the end of the video. So if you want to stop watching, you can. Um, incoming wave. Is what is this? Gather your cue and see if you. Oh, it's like a it's like a little puzzle thing. It's interesting. It looks like a Mad Lib. I guess it is a Mad Lib. Maybe it is a Mad Lib, or maybe it's a puzzle. We'll figure that out later. And then this crew's cargo. So I guess the op options were Inara or River for the for the Mini Master. Master Mini, whatever we're calling it. And then we have Saffron. We have the HD Keychain. Uh, Knight. Sweetie. Atlas of the Verse Flashcards. Sticker. And T-shirt. And that's it. Like, that's really it. I gotta say, like... Usually I leave that spread out a little bit better. Sorry, I didn't think that through. This is this is the whole crate right here. Like this, not the knife. The knife is mine. I owned that already. I paid for it. Twice, I think. Um this is the whole crate, and this is supposed to be forty dollars. So I'm a little disappointed. I will say there's nothing in this crate that I'm like, ah, oh, what trash, this looks terrible. I think everything is good quality. Again, my personal preference is not these cards. Um, the stickers are fine. I'll add it to the sticker collection, but I don't know what I'm ever going to do with that. That The shirt, I think, is probably the best shirt, the second best shirt they've sent so far. And these two, which have kind of become standards, are great, but I'm a little underwhelmed. Camera person? Do you feel like this is worth 40 bucks? Yeah. She made a noise, guys. That's how much she cares about this. Uh... Anyway, Nick Folks posts a more in-depth and probably verbose and uh, passionate review of these things. I will probably leave a comment below on YouTube with uh, the link to his. He, he tends to be a lot more in-depth about these things. I'm going to try to keep it kind of shorter. Feel free to drop off now. Let's do, if for those of you that are interested, let's go ahead and do this um, trivia quiz, right? Camera person, you with me? Uh, wow, those were some big eyes. Uh, okay, so how well do you know Firefly? Quiz your friends or yourself. Firefly and Serenity's DVDs were brought to the International Space Station in 2007 aboard which shuttle? <laughs> That's not Firefly trivia? Like, inverse trivia? But I don't know the answer, and I'm going to say... Man, please don't say the name of a shuttle that exploded at some point before 2007. I just, I know that, I'm from Florida, I know the names of the shuttles, I just don't know when, what, uh, Atlantis. Atlantis is my answer. Uh, what does the phrase, eta kur, kuram nasmek mean? Eta kuram nasmek. Smek? Smech? No, I'm a terrible Bronco. What did the cast members yell out when they messed up one of their lines? I wasn't on set. Uh, camera person? I'm going to go with Chinese swear words. Uh, where did the Alliance uniforms come from? This one, I'm pretty sure I know. Do you know? This one, I'm pretty sure, is they were left over from... Um, Oh no, what is the name of that movie where they fight the big insects? Starship Troopers. I think they're leftover uniforms from Starship Troopers. Maybe. Uh, what actor did Joss Whedon originally write the part of Mal for? The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. Or Macaulay Culkin. Those are my answers. In what episode is the line, two by two, hands of blue, first said? Uh, that, like, Serenity, right? The first episode? Maybe not. I remember it's it's early. It's really early. Um, what did Kaylee name the alien cow fetus in the message? That see these are in. No, we're still being bad at this. Any ideas? No. Uh, Stephen. 
Uh, what planet did the Battle of Serenity Valley take place on? I know this one. I know it. Do you know it? It is not one of the planets we have on our wall. You, you don't know? Hera. Uh, what... Oh, that's the same question. What three episodes were not aired in the original U.S. run of the show? In the original U.S. run of the show, I'm reasonably sure it's, um... Uh, it's... Serenity? Oh, no, Serenity was aired, just not in the original run. I don't know if Serenity counts or not. So I'm gonna say Serenity, and then it's the last two. Whatever the last two were. I'm bad. I'm sorry. Uh, and last question, what is the name of the episode that was scripted but never produced? Steven. Uh, so the answer to these questions, without rereading them, Atlantis got that one, pure guess. Uh, it's Russian for that's absurd or that's laughter for chickens. I get it. Contextual. Uh, three cast members... They yell out when they messed up one of their lines. Summer Glau's name, apparently. Uh, leftover costumes from Starship Troopers. Ah, oh, got two. Uh, Nicholas Brendan. Who is Nicholas Brendan? Oh, wait, is that the guy who plays Xander on Buffy? I'm going to assume it's the guy who plays Xander on Buffy. He would have been a really weird Mal. Uh, he's probably got more range than we. Anyway. Train job is the first time she says it. So I knew it was early, but I still got it wrong. Uh, Bessie is the cow fetus. We are dumb. Hera. Got that one right. I'm up to three, folks. Three. Uh, Trash, The Message, and Heart of Gold were the three that were left out. Um, yep. Was not correct about that. And Dead or Alive is the one that was scripted but never reproduced. If anybody has the script for that, I'd love to read it. So I got three correct... How did you do, uh, 10 is a brown coat genius, you're the captain now, 7 through 9, second in command, you're brilliant but not ready to lead just yet. 4 through 6, correct, stay with the ship, almost there, time to rewatch the show. And 1 through 3, me, and not you, you got 0. Camera person, do you know any of them, be honest? Uh, I don't know what that face was. Uh, try again? Study up, it says try again with a question mark. Study up on the first rule of flying, little albatross. I know the answers now. What do you mean try again? Alright guys, uh, I hope this was at least amusing. I have no idea if there's going to be more of these. There seem to imply that there will, but they've taken none of my money. Which I'm fine with. Um, if there's not going to be more, then don't. And they've not given me a new theme. So if anybody knows the answer to that question, uh, share it with me somewhere on the internet. I'll see you guys later.